Hey guys, Thomas from Team Sakurazo here. Coming to you guys with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Market Watch. And I want to thank you guys for getting me to 110 likes on the last Market Watch. Especially because, if you guys do not know, before my Photon Hypernova stream, uh, my mic actually broke. I actually spent like 5 to 10 minutes on stream. Actually, it was more towards 10 trying to fix it. And it is still broken. So I'm getting a new arm in the next week or two. So if there's an issue in a video or two, I do apologize but thank you guys for helping me by smashing the like button, subscribing, because we're past 3,600 subs. We're at 3,620, which is awesome. And thank you to all my YouTube channel members. And if you're buying any cards off TCG Player, please use my full link down in the description below. Helps out the channel to no additional cost, too. And I'm going to get right into this. So Crimson Blader from Legendary Collection 5Ds. If you guys don't know why this card pops up, basically whenever we have a meta-relevant deck that uses a level 5 or higher monster... This pops up because whenever this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, your opponent cannot normal or special a level 5 or higher monster during their next turn. Meaning that Kashtira, if they let this go through, they are out of basically summoning anything. Uh, unless they already have a board that has level 7 so they can, you know, overlay into something, uh, it's not really going to be too possible for them. And right now, Secret Rares are about $21 right over here. Uh, you can get a bunch for 14 if you decide to bite the bullet on this $5 shipping, though, uh, which isn't too terrible. But this is another Legendary Collection 5Ds card where it's the highest rarity. People love it. And when it becomes meta relevant, there's just not enough copies out there for everybody, especially when this card has gone through multiple buyouts. You got the super rares here. And I remember telling people when these were like $350, closer to $4, hey, you might want to pick up some copies of this. Even if this card gets reprinted, it is a tournament pack super. I know, technically, it's Astro Pack, but I call it all. OTS like packs, tournament packs. And right now, these are about six and a half for lightly played, uh, going up to seven. But near mints are roughly about seven dollars, so it's not too bad for your supers. But you only have 29 listings here, and then you have your rares, which these are three, three and a half dollars as well. So if you have any rares in bulk, you might as well just sell them off right now. Card desperately needs a reprint, I'll say that. Uh, Mitsu the Insect Ninja, this card is bought out, and I have to admit, I think this buyout's really stupid because this card i believe is a one of in the deck uh maybe two of and darkwing blast is everywhere okay completely everywhere and these are right now four dollars if you have these just sell these off immediately i do think ninjas are pretty nice right now as a rogue deck now that they finally got some really really great support but i just don't think that this card should be four dollars you know it's a one of ultra in a set that is opened up endlessly and like, within the first week, we have enough Ultras out there for all the Ninja players. All of them, right? Uh, not even including people who want to collect them. Now, the Starlight Rares, though, uh, these are... You got one for 83 unverified there, but 100 bucks, 100 100 going up to 130 I actually said that this is not bad for under 100 And at $100 here, it's not awful. If you want to play Ninjas and you actually really, really enjoy the deck, and you're like, you know what? I kind of also want to have a Starlight Rare as well. This is not an awful Starlight Rare. I mean, this is the second time it's been bought out, which I can't believe a Starlight Ninja card has been bought out twice. That's hilarious to me. It's not because it was too low either. It's because of this was seen in round six, right? And the deck was uh, four wins, uh, one tie, and then one loss, I think, at that YCS, if I believe. Uh, the VOD doesn't exist anymore because... Uh, a judge just pulled up Dueling Book. I don't know, which, by the way, if you guys don't know, Konai hates that. I don't know why he pulled up Dueling Book. I think it was just funny, but uh, that that's a whole debacle. Super Sizos here, uh, $1. Uh, do I, exp I, when these were like 30, 40 cents, I said, this is kind of a card to hold on to if they never reprint this card, which I don't think they're going to for like a long time. If they do, who knows? They might put it as like a rare or a common. Uh, you see a lot selling today. Like, a lot selling of this card. Uh, you know, at like the 40 cents here. Because that's what a lot of them were. A lot of them for bulk here. But yeah, this is up to the 10th. This is an OTS Super. These should be in everybody's binders by now. But uh, definitely a cute little card that could go up over time. Uh, Secret Rares here, which I told people, look... If you like ninjas at five dollars go get them can this card go up it's the highest rarity so it'll go up slowly over time well i was incorrect about the last part it did not go up slowly over time it went up and then went up like crazy 14 dollars right then unverified till 23 24 then okay nobody's paying this and i don't even think anyone's paying this in fact i'd be shocked to see this go but uh yeah as you see here a lot of 
A lot of sales, man. A lot of, a lot of sales. I don't even know what to really say about this. In fact, I want to refresh this really quickly. I want to see. Oh, yeah. 14. Yeah. The unverifieds are. Or no. I just. Yeah. Uh Oh, three sold for 887. Okay. Yeah, that that's cool. Now, number 11, big guy. This card, even though some cashier builds aren't playing it, uh, which I think the, the ones that are running this are the correct builds. Uh, this secret is actually not that badly priced right now. You have a first ed unverified for 22, but it's first edition because which if you go first eds over here and verified, near mints are 47. So if you want to trust a new guy for 22, you gotta steal for a big guy. Like complete utter steal. 42 for light plays over here. Uh ultimate rare over here. You got 189. 201, $250 for your ultimate herb, big guys. And uh, yeah, these are selling. It looks like a lot of them are selling at like the 142, 40 here, 170, 180, 190 over there. Um, if I go on, oh yeah, I don't even have verified on. So yeah, these are just going to the moon. People want their ulti, big guys. Can this be the next $300 ulti? Possibly, but I definitely think that if you got this back, a long time ago when I said this to get at $25. Now, I told people to get this at 60 70 as well because of cashier. So, people got like two more warnings before this went up to triple digits. Uh, you definitely won here. But it's so funny how to imagine that this card was only like $25, $27 at one point. Uh, number 11, big guy, the gold ones. You got one listing here. I don't know why people are buying this one out, but okay. Battle packs here for, you know, 16 getting bought out. And then you have Book of Eclipse here, another cashier card. A lot of people who are playtesting this deck are saying, hey, this is the way that you beat the board. And I have to agree. Yes, Nib is good, but you have to also draw into Nib. If Nib's your sixth card, well, you're screwed. Uh, and there's nothing, there's not a worse feeling in the game than drawing a hand trap that you wanted as your sixth card. Uh, going second, 18 bucks for your near mints here. Uh, for your superheroes, but then you have ultras here, and this is very interesting to me. Uh, these are three dollars now. Uh, yeah. So if you if you don't have these, um, or you had spares, or you decided to invest into these when they were like a quarter or fifty cents, yeah, now's the time to offload. Uh, Nightmare Corruptor Ibli from Flames of Destruction here. Uh, secrets are 24, 35 for first editions, going up to 40, 42 here. People are saying that this card is one of the biggest problem cards right now. I don't think so. People are already linking it off into things, uh, which is really great. And you could link this off, especially because you have to also remember it's a level two. So if, Ka if Kestur are playing this and they use it against a sprite player, uh, congratulations. It's not really a big deal, right? That's at least how I see it. Yes, it does protect against Evenly, Lightning Storm, and a few other uh, cards like that, but... Playing against Sprite, I mean, they, they kind of have a card to sub for it. It is really good, and I told people to get these when they were cheaper, but right now, Ibli is completely bought out to the moon here. Uh, Imperm over here, Ultimate Rare from OTS Tournament Pack 17. These are 200. I, when these were lower, I did tell people to actually to grab these. I still think 200 is not that bad. It's just people know when it, we get staple ulties now to hoard these. And remember, OTS 17 did not have as much printing as 18 and after. Something I like about the Konami is I like when we get the OTS pack. Even if a, a card is supposed to be very valuable, like 100, 120, they're not something completely and utterly ridiculous. Like, oh, a player at my OTS pulled, like, for example, when uh, we had ulti droplets, right? Right? Oh, you pulled ulti droplets? Congratulations. You just have 350 for a tier one deck. You don't even need the play set, whatever. Oh, and it moves day one. Absolutely insane. But $200 to where your ulti imperms are at. Your secret rares, which I said around 40s weren't too bad. You have unlimiteds at 40s, which I still think is not bad. Uh, first edition lightly plates are 52 here. In fact, I'm going to go light play and near mint here. Uh, well, near mints are very close to being gone uh, here. But. You include lightly plates. They're still going up. So, might want to get your secret imperms while you can. Uh, and then you have the rest of them at, like, you have maximum gold here, about 1112. You have ultras from dual overload here at 1150. But if you go near mint here, they kind of do go up to 12 quite quickly with only 22 listings. Uh, you also have, let's see what else you have here. Yeah, you have your mavens here. You have your structured X supers, all that. Uh, imperms going up to the moon. 
Uh, Blackwing, Kalut, the Moon Shadow, uh, the German Supers. I talked about this when it was $6. I said, look, if you want a Kalut, instead of paying $3 for like an unlimited common, like $4 for a first set one, just get the German Supers. You might as well get a, a hollow card that it's kind of hard to grab. People actually do like foreign, all that. Uh, right now they're $8, but they are going up. There's not, and I don't even have verified sellers or anything like that on. Uh, get your copies while you can if you really want Kalut for older format. Uh, Baguska here. Uh, the advent calendar ones are about seven fifty here. Uh, that's not that great, but it's not awful either. Originals, well, you got Light's Revenge at like five dollars for a lot of plates, forty two listings here. Uh, you have supers, and you, then you have rares there with thirty seven listings. And we're gonna check those in quite a second here. But first edition near mints three th three with shipping, kind of going up to five seven dollars here. Baguska is just that card where players always use it as one of the great rank fours if they're not using say. Um, uh, you know, Daguerre's, Abyss Dweller, Utopia Double, stuff like, rank, you know, Cowboy, uh, this always does go up there for rank four. Branded opening here, secret rares are $9, um, I'm just gonna say this again, these 2022 tins, uh, they're definitely not that bad, 45 for, a, uh, what's called, a pot, 23, 15 probably, 15, 13, 10, uh, 11 for wow, these went up from six, so that's pretty good to see. I actually told people then you got ashes at how much here ten dollars. Honestly, might be really good to pick up these ashes. Uh, what else do we have here? Okay, we don't want to load, but that's okay, right? Um, I actually want to check out Diviner OGs because I told people to get those at tens. Um, I want to see what they are at right now. Uh, you have this guy at like 7, 8. You have the branded, uh, the Aluber Secret, 42 listings. That card's going up um, as well. Crossout's at about, what, like 7 probably, 7, 8, 7s, right? Uh, these tins are aging pretty well uh, if you want to go grab them. You got uh, Small Worlds at 4, Underworld Goddess at 4, DPs at 4, Nibs at 4. Five, close to $5 on the Ecclesias here. Uh, Lord of Heavenly is at 4. Four for the rare branded in red. Insanity. Ghost Bells are probably like three bucks. Three, two, two dollars for Albion. So Albion's actually going up, which is really good. I actually still have a lot of my Albions from when I opened my, my stuff up. Uh, Ready Fusion, dollar, which is an awful dollar, dollar, dollar for the kits. Uh, what else do we have here? Dollar, 60 cents. Uh, the rare Funderese cards are going up. That's kind of... That's really odd, actually. Uh, but yeah, these cards are just going up. Even the, the Book of Lunar Eclipses are going up to a dollar. That's wild to me. All right, let's see what the originals are at here. So we see these going really at 11 bucks right over here. OGs from Lightning Overdrive are... I want to go near man and lightly plates here. Lightly plates are like 12. Near are going up to like... 15s here just going up to 20 just go get your original diviners at this point just spend a few extra bucks get originals it's gonna say get you a lot of money in the long run even if you want to go back and get the um the tin ones uh alubers here are yeah they're actually close to eight dollars that's insanity to me wow uh i want to see what the other alubers are at because i always told people to get originals here ulti's at 47 no no real movement there Dawn of Majesty here. Um, why are these almost the same price? <laughs> yeah, get get these get these copies right over here. That's this is ridiculous. It goes up to fourteen. So if you don't have your copies, go get your copies while they're cheaper. Oh yeah, and then you have the supers at uh nine to ten dollars here. Yeah, no thank you. Ulti Zeus's uh. If here, I uh, want to check back up on these uh, near mints. I don't care about anything else. 71, 76, 85. So it is going up, selling a little bit. Couldn't it go if it comes down to 60, maybe even I'll get some more. Uh, if you don't have your ulti Zeus, I mean, you're paying 70. You could have paid 45s on them, but now you're paying 70. Uh, Ecclesia, we're gonna go near mints here. Oh man, I have my allergies are so bad today, guys. I actually was eating really fast and I was inhaling while I was eating. And some food got stuck up my nose. 
and oh, it was horrible. Has that ever happened to you guys? I know that might be disgusting, but like it happened today, and it happened when I um had to go drive, and it was just awful. 37 for Ulti Ecclesias. Very cheap for these if you want them. Fusion Destinies are at a criminal, criminal, very, very criminal price point of $26. At this point, it's hor it's hoarding time, all right, or it's hoarding time, whatever. Baby Saurus is going to back down to three bucks. Um, if the new Dino car uh, support plays it, it'll go up. And this card will always age like fine wine. You got Monkey the Tennies at three, Ghost Girls at a dollar, uh, Dashers at fifty cents, Manjus at like thirty cents. Overall, this OTS is aging like some fine wine. Uh, you got the double evolution pill. You banish a dinosaur monster, a non-dinosaur monster from your hand or graveyard. Special levels are higher from your hand or deck, ignoring its summon condition. So, it's not too bad. Um, so because you get to choose wherever. So basically, you play this card. It's a special from deck. It just, it's a dead draw. Or if you can't get a non-dinosaur, it's kind of a dead draw. Near mints are five, going up to like. Ten dollars here, so you got some cheaper copies before it goes up to the moon. Uh, cross out designator again, seven bucks here. I already checked that earlier, actually. With ultras at about seven as well. Uh, Hornet drones about a dollar here. In fact, if I go first edition near mint for supers, twenty eight listings dollar going up to two fifty. Again, this card has not had a reprint since twenty nineteen, and its only reprint I believe was a common. So. If you want to get supers, that's a pretty good idea because Sky Strikers are always going to be seeing some sort of play or people are still going to want to play it. And as we get further and further uh, from cards that don't have a reprint for a long time, uh, it's good. these cards are just going to go up and up. I mean, same thing with After... Uh, oh yeah, and then you got the comment about dollar here. Uh, then you got Afterburners, the Ultras at about five bucks here. Uh, again, a reprint would be nice. Mama missed it. Uh, Sky Strikers Secret Rare here. How much are these? 11 for a lightly played. I'm telling you this. You might as well just get $11 for a lightly played or 12 for a near mint. That's not that bad. Uh, Blackwing Dragon from the 2010 Collector Tins. Uh, these are... Uh, mob plays are like 4.5 to going up to 6.5. Near mints are about 10 going up to 15. Okay. Lightly played are about 7 bucks. That's not that bad. Remember, this card can be played now in current Blackwings, uh, which is really funny because you never used to play this back in the day. As well as, it is a Sire Dragon, and these 10 promos do go crazy. 7 for a lightly played, it's not that bad of a price point. Ultras from Shining Darkness, the quantities on these are just so low. Mob plays for 6.5. Lightly played for 13 is definitely a good buy. Uh, in fact, if you want first issue too, I want to see kind of what these are at. You got 1 lightly played, 2 lightly played, then you got 15, then 31 here. Yeah, definitely go grab your lightly played, first and light plays here. The duels pack ones are like 5-6, not that bad. Then you have Starlight Rares, 103. Uh, I told people this would go around 100, and I was right. Uh, I think that this card around 100 is pretty good. Uh, for the reasons I've said, this is a Signer Dragon. It is played in current Black Wings uh, in a certain combo, which is really nice because it like locks you, and you just make this for some weird reason. It's not because of the effect. And then, as well as, people could play this in the format, but... Probably not really. Just being a Sino Dragon Starlight at a hundred bucks here, it's not gonna go crazy, crazy. But a hundred bucks, this could go to 200, 300 eventually in its lifetime. Uh, if you're looking for your Benjamin Starlight rare, besides, you know, Jet Dragon, this. Uh, in fact, I will actually look that up. Uh, I'm gonna let's see here. Jet. If you guys are wondering why I'm making so many mistakes, I'm typing with one hand. And my keyboard's in a weird place because of my mic. Uh, yeah, secrets, by the way, are 22, 23 on this. Starts are, wow, okay, so this went up from 100, 135. Still an amazing card to pick up right now, uh, by far. Then the last card here is the Ghost Rare. I might as well go over this here. Uh, and these are selling quite a bit in February, actually. You see that? Uh, why did I say it like this? Is that you see that? Yeah. 100 for a lightly played. Uh, I even, I'll be honest, just get the first edition Starlight Rare instead of the Unlimited Ghost. Uh, at that point, it's not that they're bad. The unlimited ghosts are bad. They are they are more rare. I just feel like people would rather have a starlight rare than an unlimited ghost. Uh, not that a hundred's bad. In fact, you could just get both and kind of see where it goes. Like if you're planning on getting a place of starlights, get two and a ghost, right? Unlimited. But near mids, two hundred. Uh, there's not that many lightly placed left though, actually. So 
If you got if like three of you get lightly plates, it already goes up to 140. Uh, what are first editions though? Uh, 150s, 160 for a mod light. Okay. Light play for 211. That's not bad. Definitely, I'd rather just grab a first set than an unlimited any day of the week, though. That's not too bad for a Blackwing Dragon Ghost. Or, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this mark watch. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe. If you're buying any cards off TCG Play, please buy the link down in the description below. It helps up the channel to no additional cost to you. And I also want to make a quick announcement here. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. I will not be having a live stream uh, I will probably reschedule it for maybe I'm thinking the middle of the day Thursday. Uh, I will def I will announce it on my community tab. I'm not gonna have it at ten. I kind of want to see if I do like five to seven on a weekday. What those numbers are, uh, and if I don't get to do a stream this week, I will definitely make up for it. You guys know I I haven't actually missed a stream in a long time. I think I rescheduled maybe like one time because it was Christmas or something. I think something like that. So I don't usually do that. You guys are going to have a five cards out of your trade binder. I just have to like record it and film it. I also have a deck profile. It's just because of the new format. I'm just testing stuff out. And hopefully I'll have that S and deck on the way. I know I keep talking about deck profiles. I just, and I'm not putting them out. But I want to let you guys know that, you know, I'm not forgetting, you know, I'm definitely going to get them up there eventually. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.